everyone, Cassandra Brooks here with a skin update video. It has been, wow, a couple years since I shared with you how my skin is doing. Um, so I'm gonna share with you, you know, everything about my acne, my acne scars, all the products I'm using, even some of the makeup that I recommend for sensitive skin. So let's jump right into this video. And for those of you who requested it, thanks so much. I'm not wearing any face makeup today. I do have on some mascara because my eyelash extensions are beyond needing a fill. My nails are a little messed up too. I just haven't had the extra time to go, you know, do the girly maintenance that we need. Um, but anyways, I'm here and I wanna share with you how my skin's doing. Um, I do still have some acne scars, which I think would be a miracle if I could get them to totally go away, but they are getting a lot better. Um, here's what we're looking at. Um, I notice it more when I smile, um, so I don't smile as much as I used to in pictures because I'm a little insecure about um, this, these like wrinkles and these scars right here that are really noticeable when I smile. Um, also take this with a grain of salt because we are our own worst critics. So I might notice something on me that um, you might notice, but it's the same thing for you. I'm sure you guys notice stuff on your body, on your face that other people or like, you're crazy, what are you talking about? Um, so I guess we really just need to work on not being so critical and harsh on ourselves. And that's something that I do battle with. I try to keep it in check. Um, yeah, I do feel pretty grateful on the opportunities and different things that I've had in my life, especially with the acne. Um, I'm so thankful that I finally figured out that my acne was stemming from dairy. So now I don't eat dairy at all anymore. Sometimes I will cheat. Um, I had a couple bites of a Snickers the other day and I don't know if it's very visible. I could feel it, but there's um, some acne right here. But this is nothing compared to what I used to get, guys. So I'm very, very happy. And I have been using products lately that help with the scarring. They are really minimizing all these. I used to have like deep pop marks here and um, they are slowly diminishing. So you can kind of see them a little bit, but they are a lot better. And now I'm getting older, so I'm getting wrinkles. Ugh, it's never ending, right? Um, so they kind of help with that too, some of the products that I use. But anyways, let's just jump right in. I'm gonna share, you guys, share with you guys what I've been using, what I love. This is BanishAcneScars.com. I actually tried to film a review video on this product for you guys a long time ago. Like I said, I've been using it for over a year now. Um, every time I tried to film this video, I had some like catastrophic failure. Um, the first video I filmed for it, I filmed it and I was so happy with it. And then, oh, by the way, I filmed it on my phone. And that weekend, I went on my friend's boat and it fell to the bottom of the ocean. So, and I didn't back up anything to the cloud, so I lost all that footage. Then I tried to film the video again. I even got the footage imported into my laptop this time. And then our house was broken into. And my laptop was stolen. Anyways, <laughs> let's not get onto all that because that will just drive me insane. Um, but I will be filming another review video on this guys if you guys are interested because it is a really awesome product and I would like to dedicate a whole video to showing you guys how to use it and like the results and hopefully um, I can find one of my old external hard drives and I'm really hoping that some of the old footage is on there so I could show you guys a serious before and after of what how this has you know progressed how this has made my skin look um, none of that made sense, but I'm sure you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm crossing my fingers that I can hopefully dig up some of that footage that it's not lost forever. But if it is, I'll just remake a whole nother video, okay? Yeah, so this, basically what it is, BanishAcneScars.com, you guys can head over there. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in checking any of this stuff out. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below. Um, but this is a kit that I ordered, and this has uh, the Vitamin C Serum. I love this stuff. This is the Vitamin C E Furlic Acid Serum. This stuff is pretty awesome, and I like to put this on after I roll. So if you guys don't know what a derma roller is, I'm gonna open it up and show you. It comes all hygienically sealed in this cute little case that we have to keep it clean. Oh, we have 
a little derma roller. Now this guy, I don't know if you could see, has tons of tiny little needles on this. It's kind of like a paintbrush roller, like how you would roll paint on, except instead of bristles, <laughs> there's tiny little needles. These micro needles will actually puncture your skin a little bit, which will cause your skin to produce more collagen because it thinks that it's injured, so it needs to heal itself. So this is very healing, um, and it really has helped with some of my scarring and some of my wrinkles. I like to do it in my laugh lines and where I have the most problematic acne. You can roll your entire face, you can roll scars, you can pretty much roll almost all of your body. I love this little thing. I have gone through so many of these derma rollers because I use it so frequently. It is seriously amazing. And then once you roll, because you have created um, like some holes that go deep down into the other layers of the dermis, uh, when you apply anything else after that, it's gonna sink deeper into your skin cells. So that's why I really love to use this vitamin serum afterwards, because it's like really refreshing and healing. And the other serum that I like to use afterwards also is this Brazilian Propolis Lotion by Epicurin. I swear by this, guys. This is the most healing product I have ever used on my skin. Um, when I started using this product, I saw a difference within days. My skin felt so hydrated and moisturized. That's kind of like the same thing. Um, but it also helped heal any of the acne breakouts that I had. This is made um, from Brazilian bees. So it just has really natural antibacterial properties to it. It's amazing, I love it. The other facial product that I cannot live without is my PMD. <laughs> We're all wrapped up here, how did this happen? Um, but this is my personal microderm abrasion um, kit that I use at home or wand, whatever you wanna call it. This thing is fabulous. I did already do a review video on this, so if you wanna see more about this product, you can check that out. I will put the link in the description down below. I really love the results that I get when I use my PMD and then a few days later I derma roll. Um, I like to flip flop between these two because they do do similar things but in a different manner and so it just kind of keeps your skin guessing and it the results are just really amazing. So I don't know if anyone else does this but I love to use these products flippy floppy. It's really good. <laughs> and we're flippy floppy this morning guys. The facial soap that I use is by L'Occitane in Provence. This stuff is fabulous. This is their in, from their Immortel line. It's their precious cleansing foam. And this foam gets really deep down into the pores and gets all of the gunk and makeup and dirt out. I feel really clean after I use this stuff. And I love that you can buy the um, refills in a bag so you don't have to continue to like waste plastic and buy like 10 of these. I go through one of these I think every month and a half to two months. I like to use that in conjunction with my Clairsonic, which is kind of dirty right now. <laughs> um, I love my Clairsonic. I use it just about every day. I know a lot of people say not to, but I feel dirty if I don't use my Clairsonic because um, I do wear a lot of heavy makeup. I don't like going without makeup, so I like to use this. It really gets deep down into the pores and gets everything out. I feel squeaky clean afterwards. I love it. So I'm kind of lazy when it comes to toners sometimes. So in place of toners, I use these Facial Radiant Pads by First Aid Beauty. And these are really nice. They have glycolic acid and lactic acid and fruit water. So they're kind of gentle, but they exfoliate as well. Um, I love these. They're just little facial pads. So you take one, you wipe it around your face, throw it away, and you're done. So that's my fave in place of a toner. Um, my eye cream that I use is by Shiseido. It took me a long time trying out different products to figure out an eye cream that I really liked, and this is it. I wanted something kind of thick because, you know, I am freaking out about my wrinkles around my eyes. <laughs> and this stuff is really thick. I wear it day and night. Um, in the daytime, I just kind of apply a little bit less, and I apply my makeup right over it, and it's fine. But at nighttime, I really glob this stuff on, and it's really creamy and really thick. I love it. It is Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24. I was using the L'Occitane in Province um, line for all my skincare and it just got way too expensive. Um, so 
This baby is their Divine Cream, and this is a very heavy moisturizer. So some days this uh, propolis from Epicurin is not thick enough, like my skin just needs a little more moisture, especially when the weather's changing and stuff. So I use this because this is a very heavy, thick, rich cream, and this really um, helps moisturize my skin. Now let's go on to the makeup that I've been using. Actually, before I put on any makeup, I always put on sunblock, and you guys should too, it's very important. Um, I had a problem with some sunblocks in the past that would break me out, and it's really strange that this sunblock from Shiseido, it's SPF 50, it's actually pretty thick. Um, it goes on pretty thick, but it rubs in and totally, you can't see the sunblock. Um, but it's thick. I feel like it lasts a long time and it doesn't break me out. So I actually really love this and it's a little bit cheaper than the sunblock that I used to use. So I thought it was a total score. <laughs> and then after I put on my sunblock, I always put on a primer. Um, now, what I love about this primer is that it's thick and creamy. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Um, this stuff really helps fill in some of those pop marks and fine lines and wrinkles because um, it is thick and it just kind of glides into those little holes and helps fill them out and it makes your makeup look a lot more pretty. A lot more pretty, guys. <laughs> and then I have found my own concoction of foundation that I like to use. I really love Laura Mercier. Her stuff is totally full coverage, so if you guys don't like a full coverage look, you're not gonna like this. But that is why I mix Laura Mercier with Clarins. This is my Clarins Tinted, Tinted Sunscreen. And some days I will wear this all alone by itself. If I'm having like a good skin day, no breakouts, I can get away with wearing this, but this is very minimal coverage. So most days I like to mix these two. Um, because you have very light coverage and super maximum coverage, you mix them together and you get somewhere in the middle that usually looks pretty natural um, and covers all of the um, redness and discoloration. So I love these products together. The color I use with Laura Mercier is Cashew Beige. And then the Clarins, I flip flop between their medium and their light coverage depending on how tan I am or not. And then to set all of that, I use my Cover FX um, powder. Now, this stuff, they have so many different colors and I love it. Recently, I've been using, this is so messy for being my makeup bag. Recently, I've been using G30. Recently, I've been talking with a doctor that did my CO2 laser treatment, and he said that we could do IPL to even out all of my complexion. Um, if you see here, I kind of get like these weird uh, sunspot lines. That's because the sun comes down and hits my cheekbones and leaves sunspots. Um, even though I put on sunscreen, you should be applying sunscreen more than once a day, and I really only do it once. Um, so I should do that more often. <laughs> and I'm interested in trying the IPL, so if you guys want to see the results or the process or anything like that, let me know and I'll try to do that for you. Oh, if you want to see a review on uh, the Banish Acne Scars Kit, let me know. I will film this video however many times it takes to get it to YouTube. Um, I really like it and I think it would be beneficial if I shared it with you guys um, because I really do believe in the product and it has helped with my scars, yay! <laughs> If you guys have any questions about any of the products that you've seen in this video, I'm going to be leaking them all in the description box or you can leave me a question in the comment section. I really love reading your comments, guys. So feel free to comment on this video, give me a thumbs up. Hey, you can even give me a share if you want to. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so much and I will be seeing you very soon, I'm sure. Mwah. Bye.